YouTube channel Ishita Rice. Those who do know me, I'm Ishita, a first year medical student at Government College, Tiruvannamalai. So today in this video, I'm going to show you which all things are needed for a first year MBBS student. That is, first year essentials. So let's go to the video without wasting much time. So the first thing which you all need is a bag to carry all the main essential things. It's basically an ordinary college type bag. Then going to the essentials, so the first thing is white cord or the apron. White cord or the apron. Uh, for at least three white cords are actually recommended to buy. At, that is because uh, during rainy season or um, for hostlers, you won't get time to wash sometimes. So at least three white cords are actually recommended. Okay. So uh, going to the next thing I want to tell about the dress cord. So for the Kerala University Colleges, for girls, it's uh, Selva Kameez, I mean uh, Kurta or Churida. And for boys, it's normal uh, pants and shirts, I mean a formal dress. And for the footwear, it's normal footwear, like uh, normal shoes and all. And for girls, it's normal sandals and all. And high heels and also spikers, something like that. I don't know the nomenclature of those words like uh, shoes, different types of shoes. Those things are not uh, allowed. And also jeans and t-shirts are not at all allowed. Okay. So going to the next thing and that is stethoscope. You all uh, neat aspirants are all like eagerly waiting for getting this thing. I know that. During my neat preparation days, I for, motiv for getting motivation and all, I downloaded an app, uh, Dr. Suit app, something like that. And I edited my photo with the Dr. White Court and Stethoscope and I pasted that photo there. It's still there. I mean, I didn't remove that even I get to college. That pic actually gives me so lots of motivation because when I feel low during my neat preparation time, when I look at a pic, I get feeling like I can, I can, I can, I can. So, thereby I could study even better. This was my strategy to maintain my pace during my knee preparation. This is actually helpful for an MBBS student also because there is actually five and a half years or six years more to complete our MBBS journey, right? Yeah. So, that was my strategy. So, about this telescope, this is of the company Revival. So, actually, I don't know about the companies at all. Like, I used to search everything, but I don't know really which thing is good for a MBBS student like that. So, I bought a telescope from the nearby medical shop. Microtron is actually recommended, but this is also very nice for the first year purposes. I don't know for the further years. And the next question which is there is, is Litman important? Like, for first year, Litman is actually not needed. Its price is about 12,000 rupees. So, uh, actually that's not needed for a first year MBBS student. For first year, we use stethoscope for the examination of cardiovascular system, respiratory system, and uh, gastrointestinal system and also for the blood pressure. And the next thing is the apparatus used to determine the blood pressure of a subject. And that is the Spigmo manometer. It's a mercurial Spigmo manometer. So electrical Spigmo manometer is also available at shops but uh, for our exams and for the practical purposes mercurial Spigmo manometer is actually recommended. We get this uh, mercurial Spigmo manometer. So it's better to buy this and or uh, try this at home. I mean like practice it. By day by day practice you will become an expert in taking BPs because this is actually the basic step and you have to do it day by day within seconds like that. You have to be quite like be an expert in doing that during your clinic stand. So that's why I bought this. So this is not a must thing to buy but it's actually recommended. It's quite good to buy this. This is the BP cuff. This is the meter and uh, during my childhood days i used to go with my mom to check bp and all so uh, the doctor will be placing like this and she will be sitting there and i will be standing here i used to like look like this i want to see the readings but actually uh, that doctor didn't allow me to see the readings but now only i understood that that's a rule because uh, our professors also taught me like taught us like this like the subject should not see this meter reading okay uh, that should be facing us. So that was actually a rule and now I understood that that doctor was a good doctor. Okay, so the next thing is bond set. Yeah. 
for anatomy i mean osteology you have to study each and every bone so actually bone set is recommended to buy so for hostlers you will get bone set from the from your seniors as i am a day scholar i don't have that option so i bought one from amazon this is a plastic bone set okay it's better to buy a bilateral human skeleton because then only you can practice the how to identify the sides and uh, you will be given one bone and you have to know which side is this like right humerus and left humerus is there so any one of it will be given to you and you have to un uh, you have to tell which side is that okay i mean whether it's of a right side or left side so for that you want a bilateral uh, human skeleton so let me show you one more bone identify this bone okay you have an articulating surface here some parts here so oh no i won't tell the remaining things because that will be a clue so find this identify this bone and please do comment and i will be telling the answer at the end of this video okay yes the next thing is about the physiology practicals and that's a lancet so lancet is basically a small pin like structure i don't know whether you can see this or not okay it's a pin like structure this is mainly used for pricking our finger tips mainly middle finger and ring finger are used for pricking and you have to get some drops of blood and from that you have to find rbc count wbc count differential leukocyte count and hemoglobin count i mean everything of our blood even we can find our own blood group so that's very interesting like we will be very eager to see oh whether i will get the correct one or not and finally we get the correct results and we will become very happy so that's very interesting for rbc count wbc count and for the hemoglobin levels we also need some pipettes this is a rbc pipette because after pricking we have to take blood okay there is a minimum amount uh, for rbc it's about 0.1 and for wbc it's about 0.5 and for hemoglobin it's about 20 like this level okay so you all will get this from your college itself by paying a, a small amount okay so that's about the pipettes and about the physiology practicals and next about the biochemistry practicals for that you need a pair of gloves i recommend nitride free gloves like this i bought this from amazon link will be given in the description box so uh, gloves is needed not only for biochemistry practical but also for the dissection hours like uh, for dissecting uh, this is to prevent the spread of infection for biochemistry practicals we have qualitative and quantitative experiments we have to know whether there is glucose in urine glucose in serum like that urine and serum are mainly used for the practical purposes so that's why gloves is actually recommended next is a pouch to carry all these things like pencil pen eraser scale sharpener color pencils etc 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 so color pencils are important to draw anatomy diagrams because for anatomy diagrams are very important because diagrams will help you to get more marks so try to keep a book for diagrams and i am not an expert in drawing diagrams but still it's very important to study yeah you will get more marks okay and the next thing is about the histology practicals so for that you need hematoxylin and eosin pencils let me check for a second one hour later Three hours later. Two thousand years later. Yes, this is eosin and this is hematoxylin pencil. So basically, what does mean by this? Actually, we are staining these tissues with eosin and hematoxylin stain, and we are actually looking through the microscope and we see these colors like eosin. and hematoxylin uh, dye color that means eosin is pink in color and hematoxylin is blue in color that's why we are drawing those things that we see in the in the microscope into the record book and that's the use of the hematoxylin eosin that's okay so eosin and hematoxylin that's okay so this is my histology record yeah you have to draw the nucleus with the blue one and the cytoplasm with the uh, eosin i mean like 
I'm not going to take a lectures for you. That would be boring, okay? Yeah, just leave that. So that's about the histology practicals. Next is about the technical side. Whether iPad is needed or not, or laptop, phone, etc. So first thing is a good phone. Good phone is actually needed for you to capture the memorable things, everything like to call or for communication and all because most of the things will be communicated to you via WhatsApp and all. WhatsApp group will be there, official and also unofficial group will be there. So it's important to buy a good phone. Next is iPad. So basically I don't have an iPad and I'm not an expert in learning things via the digital notes that's why I don't have an iPad and also financially speaking also it's quite expensive. From my childhood I used to study things via book and paper and also still I study like that and I don't know whether I will change that or not but I think book and paper is very nice. If the books are also expensive you can study that via library because uh, a good library facility will be there in every college so that's it so finally it's time to tell the answer of the questions i asked you earlier so identify this bone this is a pelvic bone or hip bone ilium ischium and pupus you all studied this during your knee time also right during the skeletal system chapter and all yeah, so that's about the video and I hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also share it to your friends. Please do subscribe and it means a lot to me. And that's all about the video. Thank you. See you in the next video.